an anonymous grave in the middle of the forest. As one victim is buried, another suspected case is driven into the nearby treatment centre. The virus spreads through contact with a patient's body fluids, so health workers seal themselves in suits where temperatures hit 40 degrees Celsius. It's relentless and harrowing work. Adele looked after baby Fire in his final moments. I was there with him just before he died. I had been feeding him milk. I stepped away just for a short break, but then I was called back and he was dead. I was totally devastated. At times, I just go outside and cry. In remote villages devastated by Ebola, the fear is palpable. And that fear is helping spread the virus. Some people believe medics are actually bringing Ebola here and harvesting organs from the dead. But after yet another death, community leaders here agree to hear the truth about Ebola and, crucially, how to stop it spreading. A few days ago, health workers couldn't even get into this village, but they have made a breakthrough here today. People are bringing out their sick relatives and they're agreeing to be checked over for symptoms of Ebola. This man convinced his sick mother to get help. She had a high fever and had been vomiting for days. There have been seven deaths in this small village so far, but medics say many more could be infected. Samples from affected villages come to this makeshift diagnostics laboratory. British scientists are among those testing for the virus. When you see a negative case come from a patient who was previously positive, then it's a bit of a celebration because you know that person has...